Hey everyone, welcome back to Network Automation Series using API. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Thunder Client software to make the API calls and do a bulk device push to the Netbox tool. So we'll cover everything from the installation, creating environment, building collections with the different type of API calls, and finally getting the Netbox tool ready with the, all the device informations. So this is going to be an interesting video where I'll try to explain the complete process. So make sure you stick around till the end and if you have any questions or thoughts feel free to drop in the comment sections with that let's start today's demo so first of all what is thunder client it is a lightweight rest api client software from microsoft which is available as an extension on the vs code so basically it is very easy to use and the interesting part is that we don't need another tool for the api queries or writing code on top of it we can do all these things from the editor itself so now let's go to the VS Code here. On the extension marketplace, let's look for Thunder Client. You'll see the extension pack here. Give an install. So once the installation is done, you'll find the Thunder Client shortcut appear over here on the left hand side. So if you are installing first time, you may need to reload the VS Code in order to appear the shortcut. So let's click on it. So it got a very simple UI. So you have a new request where you can make a different type of API call like get, pause, put. Then you can define the API endpoint details. So for example here, HTTP W Thunder Client dot welcome. Then we can define different attributes or the parameters required for this API calls. You may need to define the authorization, the token details. Then you can define the body for the api post calls then you can run the api calls from here let's give it a run here so here you can see the status code as 200 that means it is a successful run and you see a response coming back for this api calls you'll find the header details cookies results what is more interesting that you can find the code details about this particular API request which can be available on different languages all right one more interesting stuff here is that you can bring this code into the code editor instead of copy paste you can say open in code then the code is available over here then you can work way up to automate your network so all right so that's a quick introduction about new request then you can define the collections so here you have multiple options you can build a new collection from the scratch you can what is collection is it's a group of api calls there or you can import let's say if you have a collection json file then you can import from a local mission or you can import from a url or you can collaborate with the other team members then it comes to the environment so environment is where you can define the variables for the collections so here you can define a new environment or you can define a global environment which can be used for all the collections or you can specify a local environment or you can import the environment files or import from the url itself all right so what we're going to do here is that we are going to make an api call to the netbox then we will learn what are the different call methods available then we will publish each and every parameters using the api calls then finally build the device database through the api for that let's jump into the netbox so here let me check the netbox status so, docker combos ps we have the netbox up and running let's look at for the ip address of the netbox so this is the ip address now let's jump into the terminal Code details 8000 login right so so we, we got into the netbox ui you might have seen the installation of netbox in the previous video and here the 
there are a couple of details we can update so first of all you can define the organization where the all the site details and the rack information the tenant information and so the contact details will come in then they have the device details related to the device so it, it start from something like what is your device roles what is what is the platform and what are the device type then the module type then the interface details so all the details related to the device then the connections wireless tab ipam vpn virtualizations and many other details so we'll go into this one later but we'll be mainly focus on how we can do the api calls for the organization and update the device details for the device tab all right so what we are going to do here is we'll jump back to the vs code and first of all we have to define the environment so let's close this windows now don't save i'll go to the environment i'll create a new environment i'll name it as netbox then we'll define the variables the first variable is going to be the url so the name will be nb url you can give whatever name you want to give then http then ip address then the port details then the next variable we want to define is the token so the we can authenticate to the netbox using token so here we can get the token details going back to netbox api token add new token then create you can copy the token details here then paste that token information here save the environment so we just need only these two environment variables for for this netbox now we'll come to the activity tab let's make a new request let's test it if we can make a call to netbox so now for the url i'm going to use the variable so which is going to be double curly braces and be url slash then the defined endpoints so how do we get the endpoints here so if you go back to the netbox dashboard there is a nice documentation here so you have a docs then you have a rest api docs so here you can see a different endpoints let's say if i want to check the dcim details here is a link then if you go inside you can see sub endpoint links so let's say if you want to look at the tenants information you can go url slash api slash tendency so if i go to dcim then you have multiple details so inside dcim you can check what is the device role so let's say i'll copy this link i already have the ip address on the vs code let's put api slash dcim slash device roles and also we need to define the token here right there are two ways we can do it you can i'll show you how to do this in the collection which i'm going to cover on the next video but now to make it simple let's go to the authorization here then the value so here we can define token then the token value so here if i give good double curly braces you will see all the variables you have defined in the environment so here we're going to use token that's it so so we got the accept the user agent which is default then the other session as a token so let's see only uh, parameters we required for the get method now let's make a call so just click on send button here you'll see a response as 200 that means there is a response came from netbox and this is this is the response we got means we have count is zero right now we don't have anything defined on the device roles if you go back here the device role is empty and there's no other parameters so here is the header details we received from the red box and here is a piece of code for the api calls and other important details all right guys that's a quick overview on the thunder client and how to make a basic api calls i hope this is informative and in the next video we are going to cover how to use collections and use environment variable and make the netbox tool ready with all the device informations so stay tuned thanks again for watching and see you on the next video